welcome to another episode of Pixel Valve. Today, as you can see, I'm sat in my car. I'm just, I just happen to be waiting for somebody else that's uh, doing something else. And I thought I'd update you on the progress of these lens adapters. So, at the moment, I've produced a mold, I've produced some parts, and you people have experimented and played and tested out these things, and so far you seem to like them. I've tested them out myself, and I really like them too. Um, I really like these Carl Zeiss lenses. They are something else. And that's why I think I'm going to carry on and make some more of these. But I want to make them better, better than the ones I've made before. The The first one really was a viability test to see if, if other people might have been interested. It was completely accidental, really, because I, I was doing this for myself. And then I thought maybe, maybe other people might like some. And of course, when you make a mold for these things, the mold has a certain lifespan. It's not something that can be continually used forever. So the silicone does break down, the mold will fail, and then a new mold has to be made. But I think they can be better. So the new versions of these are on their way. They're going to be out in the next few weeks. There's a lot of difference, really. For example, the Tessar, or Tessar, version that you've all played with. It would require you to put the lens, to take the um, back off the lens, replace it with this, with this new lens adapter. But before doing that, you'd have to take the pin out. You would have to either remove it with screws, unscrewing it, or you'd have to um, maybe file it off a little bit. But with this new version of the adapter, you don't need to do any of that. You simply remove three screws from the back of the lens, remove the back of the lens, then place this one new new lens onto that. And that's it. There's nothing else. It's as simple as that, which makes it a lot better for the camera, a lot better for the for the for the experience. And the lens can be then reverted back to an M42 at any time if you keep that back back lens part. And, and that's ideal, really, because we're just custodians of these lenses. At some point, Nikon F mount will probably be replaced with a Z mount or something like that. And these lenses, because they're built so well, they're going to carry on going. So chances are it's not going to be used for Nikon F mount in the future. They may need to revert back to something else. And I think having the original parts available and and safe is is essential really because we're just custodians aren't we of these precious precious things that's where i'm up to at the moment so in the next few weeks i think you could expect to see a, a batch of new ones what i've been working on i've, I've updated the tazar so the back on the tazar is, is new I've made a black version of the Tazar so that uh, if, if you have that version, that, that can be used too. The two separate versions, um, the same one can't be used for both, but, you know, that's how it is. There's also a, a, a 135 Carl Zeiss and a Flectagon coming. So I've been redoing all of these, really, and that's why it's it's been quite a long time. The um, the diff another difference is that instead of being molded, these ones are going to be 3D printed, and they're going to be resin 3D printed. So, not like the filament versions, which are a little bit rough, or can be sometimes, but they they're clearly 3D printed. But they're 3D printed out of a, an engineering type of resin, which is really strong and very safe. So um, it, it's still going to be a good quality product. Anyway, I'm going to get back now and I'm going to start working on these things again. So I'll keep you updated with whatever I've got when I've got it. And I'll see you next time.
like and subscribe.